Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Something a bit different for me this time. This is uh, ICM's uh, Ford six tonner. Uh, obviously the British uh, utility truck of the Second World War. Uh, Shall we have a look at it? So here's the box end chaps. Uh, as we know with the uh, ICM boxes, uh, they tend to be um, pretty groovy with the uh, the outer sleeve and then the inner box is all the um, plastic quite a bit of it so we will um, uh, get to it okay guys let's have a quick look at the instructions uh, for this British six tonner um, where there is oh, I've jumped over a page there look there is if I can operate my fingers correctly oh no that is right so the front there look we've got um, a little write-up not much of one and we've got the colour call outs which will be uh, for this it will be in Ravel and Tavia colours are very uh, colours that you would have nothing to worry about there I wouldn't think there'd be any colours that you'd need to buy should you be you know not an absolute beginner of course uh, we've got one two three four five six plastic sprues clear little tiny bit of PE I guess that is and the tires are separate I wonder if they're not plastic then oh another sprue of plastic there so there's a quite a quite a bit of plastic um, we're not going to go through every stage because there's 103 <laughs> 103 so we'll just have a quick overview of actually with just what the instructors show us as you can see we're straight onto the um onto the chassis on to start with as per normal um with a nice little engine looking like it's going in so you can see it's very clear line drawings easy to follow um there's nothing here um that's gonna particularly uh bother you i wouldn't have thought looking at um sort of stuff it all looks quite relatively straightforward and separate wheels oh, look there I have to look for them see where then they might not be plastic might be um, vinyl ones maybe or rubber um, so you can see it's all pretty you know pretty straightforward that looks nicely detailed in there engine compartment um, it all looks as I say some small little decals for the what um, gauges there are the instruments there are uh, seats there's obviously don't look as any belts but check your references if there was if there were any obviously you'd make your own um, glazing going in that's I would imagine the glass should be pretty okay <coughs> excuse me right hand drive which is always good to see and that's the cab back of the cab going in nicely detailed inside look at these doors open i'm assuming the doors we'll have to have a look inside the door see actually there's a window winder and the door handle see what actually the details like so it'd be nice to have them open of course um and there's the and there's the pe for the top of the um the radiator grill and there's the bed the flat bed on the back whether you would paint that or whether you do it at a wood colour, probably paint the sides and just have the bed as wood, a wood colour. Check your references again. Jerry cans, um, yeah, that's all pretty straightforward. Drops onto the top, will drop onto that at the very end. Uh, nothing that's going to there's nothing that's going to bother an experience well I say an experience that anyone who's got any sort of um, armor or vehicle experience should should it should be all right they should I wouldn't say it's easy but it looks like it's relatively straightforward so there's no there's no canvas top I'm assuming there was a canvas top on this on some point so you'd probably either make your own um, so far or something or maybe maybe there's one on the aftermarket route at uh, scheme wise what schemes there is they're all the same color the green uh, there is a couple of different decals uh, 
um, a couple of different deco um, uh, areas to look at. Oh, late late war the look of it. Mm, that's um, that looks very interesting, and there's a lot to it. More to it than with an aircraft. I've got to say that. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's good. Good instruction. So now let's go and have a look at the plastic. Before we jump into the plastic, I think it's we should have a look at the little decal uh, sheet that we get. Um, yeah, uh, what do you say about this? It's the colours are nice and bright. The forty-one you can see there. The the numbers are all um, absolutely fine. All the same shape. All the same size. Um, absolutely fine. Um, yeah, the, the 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 actual deck of film isn't cut right close, but I think it would be absolutely uh, ideal in this situation. It's going to be splattered in mud anyway, isn't it? Uh, yeah, more than useful uh, deck of sheet. So if we jump straight on to uh, sprue A, uh, so we're going to start with. Uh, the part of the chassis here that was some leaf springs to be going on with we've got the front of the cabin the rear of the cabin um, nicely I quite like this plastic it's quite nice there's a bit of a there's a bit of a, a funny thing going on on a couple of these um, sprues where there's no detail but um, yeah it's, it's fine I think it, it it's certainly not it it's not in the plastic it's um, you won't see that at all once it's painted um, and we've got part of the the wood bed here now um, obviously the the, the side walls and the wall the front and the uh, the back I'd imagine um, nicely detailed uh, uh, yeah whether we do whether you'd want to paint that uh, and and then uh, chip it and Get some wood paint and then chip it. It would be entirely up to check your resources, obviously, or references, I should say. Um, wheel arches. There is a couple of little pin marks here that you probably might want to deal with, but I wouldn't. I don't think you'd want to worry too much. Uh, it's going to get covered in mud anyway. Uh, so that's off to a off to a nice little start. I like that. Naturally, after um, sprue A would come to sprue B. So again, this is part of the chassis here. Again, same that lovely detail off the leaf spring. You can get pick that out with a wash nicely. Um, there's the flat bed. Obviously, you could probably make a right mess of that, couldn't you? Paint that wood that wood color, and then obviously chip that to bilio. Uh, lovely, cool, yeah, it's nice. And then the outside of the, uh, the the flatbed walls, so to speak, we've got. So this is lovely detail, very nice too. Got a little shovel there, a bit of the exhaust, just there. You see that bit of the exhaust there? Yeah, nice little sprue, lovely. This one's a bit bigger. Obviously, this is sprue C. So it's got a bit more on this. So uh, we'll have to quickly go through these little parts. We've got the steering wheel. Um, we've got some of these probably probably the chassis parts. I'll imagine a bit of the engine. Is that um, here's part of the engine? Here's the engine. Here's a look. little bit flashy. I guess you'd call that a little bit flashy. Possibly. I won't worry about it again. Um, some differentials there. Nice detail on the differentials. Is the um, part of the um, the instruments for the for in the cabin? Fine details in there. I'm getting them. Are they the um, these parts here? These could be the um, rear view mirrors, the wing mirrors. There. Look. Good luck getting that off the sprue. All leaf springs here. Very nice. 
doors. Ah, oh, this is it. We just want to look at the doors, didn't we? So outside of the doors, probably, you know, not a lot to it. And then inside of the doors. Yeah, you could make something out of the doors open then, in that case. Although there are no hinges. I'll have to watch that. Uh, where is Sprue C? A busy Sprue indeed. So this is going to be D. Now we've got double sprues here, so obviously we're only going to look at the one of them. There'd be pointless to look at, <laughs> at the both of them. Uh, it's just the front, it's just the front. So we've got fuel tanks here, um, seats, not a lot to the seat, obviously. That's the back. The jerry cans, pretty basic. All right, in my eyes, it'd be fine, but if you might have some spare resin ones kicking about. A uh, nice texture on the back of the seat there. Look, you can see, can you see that? Oh, well, you can see that. Bit of, te bit of detail there. You could pick that out possibly with a bit of oil work. So that is your sprue D. So what we have here obviously is the wheels, uh, the plastic obviously, the hubs look very nice too, nicely detailed, and then we have got rubber uh, tyres, um, which there is a bit of a seam on the um, on the front there, so you could swipe them off with a with a with a sanding stick or sanding sponge. Maybe the what's the trick? Put it in the um, freezer overnight and then give it a give it a rub down. Um, but no, that looks okay. They look fine. I think we can work with them. Sprue G is going to be your glazing. Uh, there's nothing to report here. Absolutely crystal. See right through that. If I hold that up to the up to the. You can see right through that. Absolutely nothing to report. Uh, the the headlights, lenses have got a, a, a nice little uh, detail to that. I'm not really sure that's picking that up or not. So yeah. Nothing to report there, absolutely bang on. And then finally, uh, we've got the little um, photo etch. I'm not going to get it out, there's not a lot to see. Grills for the front of the cab, and a couple of the tiny other little bits. Pretty thin, um, yeah, just a nice piece of um, photo etch. Uh, that would conclude the looking at the plastic. Now, then, back to me. Thank you for sticking with me this this long, chaps. Uh, obviously, trucks aren't my thing. I'm more aircraft uh, type of guy. Uh, but looking as a, a model assembler, this looks like a really good kit. It looks like it's obviously going to go together fine. You can have lots of fun welding it, especially if it's going to be in, in one colour, that like green. It's you know interesting colours to try and weather. Um, I did the Sea King a little a uh, little while ago, and that was um, that was interesting to weather. Even though it obviously it's completely, completely different, obviously, but they're quite the same. Um, yeah, so uh, I th I think it would be uh, an interesting build, make a great diorama piece as part of a um, like a convoy of a couple of trucks maybe, and something else with it being uh, one thirty five scale as well. You know, you can stick a tank to it, or um, obviously figures are easy to come by at that sort of scale storage for the back I mean there's lots you can do with this kit um, I think it's kind of cool uh, oh by the way yes I am wearing pajamas by the way before you ask <laughs> okay chaps we'll uh, see you on the next one bye now